Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to show you how to install Laravel 8 with Bootstrap on the front end. So Bootstrap will be the front end framework uh, in this new Laravel 8 project and we will create authentication scaffolding as well. We will be using uh, Laravel Fortify to create the authentication scaffolding. Uh, we're not gonna use uh, Laravel Jetstream because we don't want to use Livewire, Livewire or Inertia.js. So we will use Laravel 45. We will install Bootstrap, jQuery, Popper.js, and we will create the authentication scaffolding. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and leave me a like if you like this video. Let's get started. Oh, and I just want to mention that all the code can be found on GitHub, and the GitHub link is in the description so you can check that out uh, but I suggest to watch this video so you will be understand how this works how we installed Laravel 8 how we authenticate the user how we implement bootstrap in this uh, project okay so first of all let's open up a command line and create a brand new Laravel 8 project okay so create a Laravel 8 project as you know we need to type in Laravel new and the project name Right, that's done. Now let's see the inside this new project. Okay, now let's install a bootstrap. Let's use npm install bootstrap. Okay, for bootstrap we will need jQuery as well. So npm install jQuery. Right, and for bootstrap, popper.js is required as well. Okay, for popper.js, let's open up our VS Code Editor. Right, so here is our new project. Let's open up uh, package.json. As you can see, bootstrap and jQuery is already there. We have just installed it. And now let's add popper.js to this list as well. There you go. So your package.json should uh, looks something like this, similar to this one. Now, one more important thing. Let's install Laravel 45 as well. So use this command composer require Laravel 45. Paste and enter. Okay, so we have installed a Laravel 8 without any jet streams, just Laravel 8 project, pure Laravel 8 project. Then we installed Bootstrap, then we installed jQuery, Popper JS. Now we have Laravel 45. Now let's do npm install. Right, that's done as well. Now let's back to VS Code. And let's modify webpack.mix.js file. Instead of post CSS, we would like to use the SAS. And instead of CSS, we would like to use the SAS again, and we would like to use SCSS. So that's it for the webpack.mix.js. So yours should look something like this as well. Now let's close it and save it. We can close this one as well. Now let's go to the resources folder and modify this folder name to SAS. And inside that SAS folder, let's modify this to app.scss. And we would like to use Bootstrap in our project. So let's import it into this file. Save it and close it. Now we also need to import it inside our JS file as well. So app.js is good as it is for now, but inside the bootstrap.js, we need to add few more lines. So here we have this try and catch. We import popper.js from popper.js. We use jQuery and we are requiring bootstrap. Now we need to configure our Laravel 45 authentication. As the documentation says, we need to publish 45 resources. So we use this command from the GitHub page Laravel slash 45.
Okay, we published all the files and we need to do the migration. But before we do the migration, we need to create the database for our new project. So let's just go to the .env file. As you can see, Laravel, we're looking for this Lara 8 boot uh, database name. So let's just create this database. Let's go to the localhost PHP my admin and let's create a new database. Database name is Lara 8 boot in my case. It could be different in yours. Oh shit. Okay, our database has been created. Now let's migrate it. PHP artisan migrate. Okay, as you can see, our migration was successfully done. No users at the moment. We can close these. And now we can run our server, but first of all, let's do npm run watch. It will install some additional dependencies. So after that, we need to rerun this command. Okay, as you can see, finished, we need to run again this command. Okay, and as you can see, our app.css and app.js has been compiled successfully. So everything is okay so far. But we also need to add these extra lines. This will uh, respond. It, it will be responsible to return the login page we want to if the user uh, visiting this slash login. So we need to add this line. So copy this and go back to, to uh, VS Code. And if you go to the uh, app providers and Fortify service, uh, service provider, if you scroll down, you, dis you find this boot method, boot function. And let's just add this uh, few lines here. So basically when the user visiting the slash login page, we would like to return the login view from the auth folder, which is not exist yet, but I will create it soon. But let's continue with the register page as well. So if you scroll down even further down, you can find this as well. Also, we need to import this app model user. But first of all, let's copy this. This will be uh, responsible the authentication for the authentication. Okay, and now let's go to the register. So this will return the register page for the user. Right, so if the user visiting the uh, register view, then we would like to return the register view from the out folder. So let's just create this out folder and let's create a register and the login page. So if you go to the resources views, let's create a new folder called out. And inside this out folder, let's create a login dot blade dot PHP. And the other one for register.blade.php that's it right now let's run our server so let's go inside our app folder which is lara8 boot in my case and open up one more command line there you go and let's start a server php artisan serve and our server is booted up already Here you go, so we have a Laravel 8 project with a login. Of course, this, uh, this is not working yet. Okay, now let's create a layout for our application. So first of all, let's go inside the resources views and let's create a new folder called layouts. And inside that layouts, let's create a app blade.php 
so inside here we will be able to use our app.js file and app.css file and to speed this tutorial up I will copy and paste it so basically this is nothing else but a pure uh, bootstrap 4 classes as you can see and we send the form the post request to the login route we send the CSRF as well basically that's it and let's do for the same for the register okay so we are sending a post request for the register controller which is inside the app action fortify here is the create new user and uh, password validation and update password and stuff like this and let's just copy and paste this line to provider and fortify service provider let's just paste this user here as well and we get this error when we try to visit the login page because we need to register fortify inside the app config uh, so inside the config folder app.php we need to add this line so let's go back to the VS code editor and let's go to the config and app.php and just scroll down and down here you need to add this line to your application and if we visit our application again and hit refresh as you can see we have a different uh, error now which is view layout navbar not found so let's just create a navbar because I already placed a navbar uh, layouts inside this uh, app.blade.php right so I just made some modifications but don't worry the code will be in the description uh, so that's it basically we have a Laravel 8 project with bootstrap 4 on the front end and authentication scaffolding so we have login and register page we can register users with Laravel 8 we can save user in inside the database with Laravel 8 and we have bootstrap 4 as a front end CSM front end CSS framework and as I just mentioned uh, the whole code just you saw on the screen now so this is the home page uh, will be on the github so you can download it and use it for yourself however you want okay so basically we have a home page we have a, a home page section we have a login and register button login and register let's just register a new user Okay, so we are registering a brand new user, test user, hit register and the home page not found, we will fix it in, in a bit. But if we go into our database and if we, if we hit refresh, as you can see the test user has been created. The only problem is we haven't got any home page, we haven't got any uh, page to redirect our users so let's just create a new home page for this as well okay so let's just create a home page inside the lay inside the views let's create a new file called home dot blade dot php and let's just use the usual uh, and now we need to create this route as well so let's go to the routes web.php and let's just add this home route it will return our home view so if we are hit refresh now as you can see just in the old times we have the enough bar we have a logout button and we are logged in now so let's just try this log out right so protect our routes we need to use middleware just we have used to in Laravel 7 I show you how I did it so if I go to the web.php as you can see middleware out so the home page only can be visited if the user is authenticated and to be login 
we need to add some couple more lines inside our project. So first of all, we need to go to the uh, app dot providers forty five thirty forty five service provider php, and we need to add these two lines, the hash and validator, and we need to use the user model and we need to use the uh, request as well. So now we are able to get the request, the login request, and we find the email inside the database and then we check if the request password is equal to the user password and if they are matched then we return the user and we are going to the home page which is the protected page. So that's how the Fortify service provider page should look like. And if we check with the test user, we should be able to visit this page. But if we log out and if we try to visit the home, we got redirected to the login page. Okay, so that's it. We have a Laravel 8 project with Bootstrap 4 as a front CSS framework, as you can see, and we have login register and we have protected routes and all that stuff. We need to create beautiful and perfect applications. Okay, I hope it helped to you. If it is, then please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.